Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about four defect reporting tool or defect management tool used globally and accepted for almost all of the projects. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. The major content what we will discuss here or what you will get it from this video is what is defect reporting tool. Top four defect management tool. I will cover it here. Detail about the tool, licensing cost, and how this tool looks really. So, without wasting time, directly jumping to the defect management tool. Evergreen tool, which is used for the defect management as well as project management and test case management or scrum planning or sprint planning is Jira which is built by Atlassian team and the cost of this tool is somewhere around $1.34 per month per user. So if any organization is looking forward to buy this uh, product or buy the licensing of Jira, they are going to spend the cost of around $34 per month per user. So Jira is a vital tool for teams in the test design, exploratory testing, bug tracking, manual testing and product releases. So as I said, Jira is also used for the scrum planning, product planning, uh, then Jira is also available for the ticketing services as well. So Jira core is intended as a generic project management tool. Jira software includes the base software including agile project management feature previously in a separate product Jira Agile. Jira is well known application and almost all of the industries has adopted it. Jira is a platform independent tool. It can be used with any operating systems. Jira is multilingual tool. English, French, German, Japanese, Spanish. We can configure it according to our requirement. Even we can set our time zone according to our need as well. Jira supports MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL and SQL Server in the backend. So whenever we are working on Jira, we can use these many technologies or even the task of the Jira, we can automate it according to our automation project. Jira can be integrated with many other tools that is Subversion, Git, Clear Keys, Team Foundation Software, Mercury, Concurrent Version System, and many more. Jira is well known tool for the defect reporting, test case management, uh, scrum uh, planning, and the product themes. We can also use it for the dashboards uh, and uh, when we want to do any uh, recurring vendor management type of project, we can also use it or if we want to make a campaign, we can also do that. It's very simple UI and we can use it at any point of time whenever it is needed. So when we want to circulate or we want to utilize this project ads for our needs, we can opt it or buy for month as well. And even the trial version is also available, you can use it. So this is the Jira dashboards where you can find it out. The board looks like this when we want to do the planning and metrics pages are looking like this. Uh, you can create the test cases, defect reporting, defect number is identified here that is starting with the DE and the defect case. Then the defect uh, name, then the test cases or status or latest status. This is how it looks really. Next tool is Bugzilla, which is second tool and Bugzilla is a defect or bug tracking tool. Defect tracking systems allows developer and tester to track all the outstanding defects. This is used for defect as well as test case management tool. It's open source tool. There's no cost included with it. Bugzilla is an open source bug tracking tool. Many companies are using this open source tool for managing the software development process. Bugzilla is a defect or bug tracking tool. Defect tracking systems allows developers can test 
to track all the outstanding defects, Bugzilla can be linked to other testing tools like Jira, QC, or ALM, etc. Bugzilla is developed by Perl and runs on MySQL server. Bugzilla can be linked to other testing tools as well as I said. Search option with advanced feature is available. Email notification, we can uh, use it uh, for the Bugzilla history of all the changes and that can be linked different defects for the tracking purpose. So whenever you want to use the Jira, it's open source tool. There's no cost included with it. You can go for it. This is a very good tool for your defect reporting. How it looks, you can see this is the home page of the Jira and when you want to lock the defect or any of the uh, contents, you can find it out the all the aspects see here. Third tool that is Mantis. So Mantis is again open source tool. It is not having any cost included with it. Mantis is an bug tracking software that can be used to track software defects or various software projects. We can easily download and install the Mantis for our use. Mantis BT now also provides a hosted version of the software. We can easily customize Mantis to map our software development workflow. Mantis is available for Ubuntu, Windows and Linux systems and it supports multiple browsers of all these platforms. It is available API, desktop, GUI and mobile UI. Since then it has developed vastly and gained much popularity. Mantis tool is supports multiple project per instance with per project user access thus maintaining proper isolations and between the project and the team working on them. It also supports sub projects and categories. Reported bugs can be exported to CSE or Excel file, option to integrate with a third party plugin so as to track time required to a specific project. Mantis has named after an insect which are desirable in agriculture. They look like elegant so Mantis was given this name after praying insect Mantis. So how it looks you can see. The main page of the Mantis is looking like this. You can report the defect by using these many categories like uh, reproducibility, severity, priority, platform, OS, operating system version. These all are available. It's very simple to use and this is used only for the defect reporting. When you want to search the defect, you will find it out the UI page of searching the defect is looks like this. You can apply the filter from this options and you will find out the detail here. So it's very simple to use tools and absolutely it's free of cost. There is no cost included with it. Now jumping to the fourth tool that is Redmine. Redmine is again defect management tool or defect reporting tool and Redmine is a free and open source web based project management and issue tracking tool. It allows users to manage multiple projects and associated sub projects. It features pro project wikis and forum time tracking and flexible role based access control. It features per project wikis and forums time tracking and flexible role based project as well as GAN chart to aid visual representations of projects and their deadlines. Redmines integrate with various version control system and includes a repository, browser and different viewers. Redmine as a project management tool written in Ruby, it supports several database servers and is also known as issue tracking system. It keeps a track of multiple projects, allows the users to have different roles and permissions. This also can track and time that has been spent on the issues. Users can use visual reporting using graphs and chart. So how it looks a uh, re red mine in real perspective. So this is the home page and if you want to add a new defect, this is how it looks while you're adding the defect. So that's all about top four defect reporting tool, which is globally accepted and used in multiple industries. So if you know any other tool 
which you have used it or which is globally famous you know it you can comment down in the comment sections so that it will help for the other viewer to understand these many other tools are available there are various tools are available which is globally accepted and used for the various industry but these four tools are used in maximum of the organizations or the percentage of it using these two is much higher because of that i came up with these four tools but if you know any other tool which is having a good popularity you can comment it out here so that's all about top four defect reporting tool hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider sharing within your circle thank you for watching